We're, We're back. back! Hey everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to part two with the amazing Eric Bauza. Here we go. Uh, I want to talk about creating characters first and then we're going to talk about your impressions because your impressions are freaking yes. out of this world sure. but when creating characters i mean do you like sit there and like do your characters come from actual real people or what do you do there are some uh instances and you know i think it's you as an artist and you'll probably relate both of you you'll meet the strangest people. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your ears. I think our ears are the, are like the MP, the original MP3 recorders. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I gotta remember yeah. that. Yeah. when you meet somebody. Yeah. And, uh, like, Badoos on Breadwinners is, uh, <laughs> is kind of like an offshoot of this animation producer guy named Bruce that I met. And he was just, you know, this, this, uh, you know, crazy guy from New Jersey. And he was always like, oh, my girlfriend's trying to kill my dog. You know, like, <laughs> and I was like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? I got it. And where can I use that yeah, voice? Yeah. yeah. So it kind of became Badoosh. He was. I kind of made it cuter, less oh, frantic, yes. and less yeah. crazy, less Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> less manic, and yeah. um, but it's kind of like that. Sometimes I'll I'll have those stored up in my my file folder, mm -hmm. but other times uh, it's it's nice to kind of create something that's completely. Out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't know. Belly bag on Uncle Grandpa took, I think, 18 different tries for me. Like, I worked outside of uh, of the... Uh, once I got past callbacks and, mm -hmm. and Pete knew that he wanted to work with me, mm -hmm. we tried, like, tons and tons of voices. And I think it's because almost every voice on that series... You know, Uncle Grandpa has that, like, yeah. almost Barney Rubble-type delivery. Yeah. And then uh, Kevin goes down below for Mr. Gus... Uh, Adam Devine does the voice of Pizza Steve, and he's mm -hmm. a bit mid-range here. So the only character on that show that cuts <laughs> through all of them was Belly Bag. I, I, yeah. They asked to do like a um, a higher pitch range, and I think one of the other calls was, "What would you sound like if you were on the Muppets?" Oh. And when I was doing the voice originally, like during sessions, I would move my hand like this, oh. subconsciously thinking yeah. that I had <laughs> like a piece of felt cloth on my hand. Yeah, and it worked, I guess. And I mean, I think Belly Bag is like the Lisa Simpson of the show. Yeah, yeah. he's always like, I don't think that's a good idea. He is. You he's should get the... down from that step ladder. You might hurt yourself. He wants to do good. He is a yes. he was a do gooder. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I feel like uh, creating characters can come from almost anywhere, and it's a combination of what you your natural instincts and kind of like what the creator wants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I don't know. That's cool, man. Yeah. Um, well, what about your impressions. First of all, what are your top? <laughs> yeah, you got some. What good are your ones. top We've heard three some, impressions? Well, that you feel you just nail. I I feel <laughs> it, it, again <laughs> for me impressions are strange because and voice matching too for that matter. Yeah. If you're going out for a character like Marvin the Martian mm -hmm. or like James Hong as we had talked mm -hmm. about earlier, it's like some things that you just don't know you can do, like. Of course, when Looney Tunes show came out, everyone was reading for bugs. Yeah. Everyone wanted bugs, you know? They all liked that nasally buck tooth quality, right? Yeah. But when I read for it... That's, uh, that's a very good bug, Oh, actually. thanks. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's okay. It needs work. Yeah. It needs work. Well, but, you know, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's uh, not something good. that you can just pull out of your hat, Doc. You know? Uh, but, <laughs> but when I was reading, I, was, uh, I did the Daffy read, and... Uh, for me, I was like, you know, I never did Daffy. I never even thought of, like, even for fun. Mm. But when I was reading for Daffy, I was like, it's almost like like a Richard Dreyfuss with a lift. Yeah. You know, I hope yeah. I'm, I'm almost spitting. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Everybody spits on Our me. Our clothes are yeah. plastic. We, just as long as you reason. say, you I'm should, sorry for spitting you guys, on you, we're That's good. the Canadian. Well, we have yeah. animation oh, spat actors. Sorry. Sorry. We have plastic clothes. There's a lot that's, There's a lot of spots <laughs> on this, too. Yeah, thank you. It's just more water. Yes. And that's, like, the worst character to have in such close proximity. Uh, uh, let's go for a ride. Let's hear my, some of your impressions. Uh, don't yeah. do Daffy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ride in this tiny car and I'll do Daffy yeah. Duck for four hours. And yeah. yeah, Daffy Duck on your first date. Yes. Not a good idea. Yes. Listen, there's something in your eye. <laughs> my tongue, probably. <laughs> I'm not gonna line up and be a hot meal for some shark. You know, that's it's Richard Dreyfuss with the list. Um, uh, you know, uh, Fred Tattashore does Jeff Bridges, and that's where I kind of was like, 
he he is just Jeff Bridges, yeah. first yeah, of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freddie, he is the dude. But yeah, there's something weird that, you know, when you listen to something, it's bizarre, man. Like, when did he start talking like this? I don't I know. know. His lip got stuck in an elevator and it just went up, man. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is about voices, like, uh, when you do voice impressions. I think it's like a lot of, like, uh, growing up in elementary school, high school, and working in an office setting yep. mm -hmm. where I would just impersonate people just for fun, just yeah. for, you know, yeah. giggles. And now it's like, oh, you could turn this into a career. Yeah, right. I can get paid for <laughs> yeah. 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 like somebody else. Yeah. What are some of your other great impressions that you feel you do really good? What was uh, the one we heard the other well, day? Well, there's, there's Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Right. Dude, your Morgan Freeman yeah, is crazy. Is I feel like that Morgan Freeman has become this automatic, like, voice that people do. And I think what's weird about it is coming out of a 5'5 five, five Filipino Canadian. Like, who does that? Who does <laughs> that? That is yeah. so good. For real. That's yeah. bizarre. That is <laughs> yeah. so, so uh, freaking crazy. So good. Right, but I'll show uh, Michael Caine if you're going to go in that direction of old timey type voices. Right, he's very clipped. He, he, he almost has to stop what he's saying. Right, right. right. Yes. But yeah, they were both in that Dark Knight uh, movie, and it's like two iconic sounding yeah, voices. Yeah, mm yeah. -hmm. Clearly, people that know their own voice and know what to do with it. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. that's what impressionists do: is they tackle people that have that cadence, that cadence, that bizarre thing that they do. It's very yes. weird. Yes, and yeah. you also do a really good Chris Rock. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> it's more about the hands. <laughs> when you do Chris Rock, I did it for DiMaggio's documentary. I know that. Yes, yeah. yes. And I had so um, uh, my buddy Mike Chillian, who who works on Uncle Grandpa. He's a storyboard artist. I said I've been asked to do this impression of Chris Rock, <laughs> yeah. and it was uh, around that time. It was when the Oscar speech right. came out. Yes. And a lot of people, you know, and in that documentary, Tom yes. Kenny tackles it the best, where it's like. Celebrities get paid billions of dollars to sound like themselves, and we get paid, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Millions whatever. of dollars. <laughs> thousands Double of dollars. Well, somebody L. else <laughs> to yeah. sound like celebrities. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But they thought it would be funny to just put that in the documentary because it was, it was so such a, a big yeah. blip at that yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're, so. you're talking about I Know That Voice, John DiMaggio's great documentary, which you can get on uh, iTunes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, and and I thought, what if, what if we animate something so that it's not all me? It just pops to me at the end. So it's it it kind of underlines that fact mm -hmm. of you could be anybody and 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 be able to work in this industry and and have fun with it. It yeah. was such a fun part of the movie. Absolutely. It just was like this great little oh, pop. Man, yeah. It was really it was fun. So it was cool. Really good. It was so cool. So when you sit down to work on a voice yes. for an impression, how do you dissect it? Like, what do you listen for? Uh. The, the pitch cadence, I have this weird voice, I feel like it's gotten much deeper over the years and I I don't know why that doesn't apply to my height. I wish that over <laughs> yeah. the years I would grow a bit more, but I'm fine with the voice just being deeper and deeper every year. It's 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 the rhythm, I think, because I, I don't exactly do voice matches uh, on everything. Yeah. But I think it's the case, the cadence and the rhythm of something that really like yeah. resonates. Mm -hmm. But but y your tone, like oh. when you change your thing, your the actual tone yeah, of where you oh, fully oh, embodied. Really? <laughs> and you, that you play is like spot on, man. Oh, thanks. So do you listen for that, or does that just like, your ear just automatically goes to that? I've I've been blessed with that ear of just like just being in that range. Uh, and He's then, just a freak of nature. <laughs> Chuck, it's there's called no talent. There's no explaining He's gifted. The, the Bowser. <laughs> He's a prodigy. Um, wow. Well, hey, congratulations, man, because yeah. you are one freaking talented dude. That's Amazing. for damn sure. Mr. Bowser, what do you think are your strengths as a voice actor? Hmm. Um, I think the strengths that I possess that almost everyone that wants to get ahead in this game is the versatility. I feel like that's what's going to make you, I think, uh, far ahead. Uh, they want to hire people that do have the ability to do the multiple voices so they could save money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, yeah. it's like yeah. hire this one guy that can do five voices. Mm -hmm. But then there, again, going back to Mr. Rob Paulson, because I got it, he's been one of the most uh, kindest guys to me. But he's another one of those guys that has like a very marquee voice yeah. uh, that can do multiple characters, mm -hmm. but he's he has that voice. That, yeah. that Yakko Warner is like one of like the most memorable voices mm -hmm. and there's something to be said about that yeah where it's like if you have that one identifying quality mm -hmm. yeah 
it's like, wow, like you could just keep working. Or guys like Jeff Bennett, who have every impression down. Yeah. I, it's hard for me to get any work done when both of those guys are oh in the gosh. same room. Yeah. Having the history that they have with each other yeah. uh, it was Ben 10, Omniverse. Yeah. I got to sit there in the corner and wait my turn. <laughs> and there's like billions of people in there and, uh, at that time. And just seeing them, their rapport and their, and they're just be able to crack each other up. Mm. But I'm just like, where's my popcorn? I need 3D glasses for this. Yeah. It was yeah. a treat to it's see beautiful. them both work oh, together. I beautiful. Bet, well, and they're very um, welcoming. They're well, you know what? People. You know what I feel is one of your strengths? Let me tell My you hair. about let me tell you about your strengths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, seriously speaking, man, from the day that I met you, okay, not the first time at the hamburger place when I didn't know who you were. <laughs> Burgers and fries. But, but after came, I knew who you were, you came walking in the room. Yeah. But after I knew who motion. you were, no, no. And and even Jess Harnell mentioned this about you, but and I've noticed it here today yes. that man, you are so gracious, not just to the people that have taught you and that have given you opportunities and stuff like that, but your comrades, the people that you work with, and you have an amazing ability because you've, you've done it to us since you first got here. Um, you even made our camera guy feel amazing. Oh. Look at him, he's crying right now. I can see the no. mascara running. Right, the mascara, <laughs> our camera guy's mascara. Um, uh, you make people feel good, man. Oh, and and man. I, I really I really think Jeez. that that's one of your, your, your you strengths. Have a, yeah, you've got a beautiful heart and a warm Absolutely. spirit. You're, I feel like... You're a sweet kid. You're oh, someone thanks. that they would want to have around, <laughs> session after session. I just session. gave you diabetes. No. Oh! <laughs> so, so, cavities are forming. <laughs> He's too sweet. Get him out of here. Cooties, cooties. We need more dot, salt. Dot, cootie shop. Um, well, that's so nice of you to say because I feel like... It's true. Wh what else? No, no. <laughs> No, yeah, because from it being a hundred percent true. What else are we gonna do? You know, like you can't be like a jerk. You can't be, and there, I think there's well, plenty yes. of room for everybody. Yeah, I mean, there there are definitely the heavy hitters that we have grown to love, and it's it's evident that they keep getting the work that they do because, much much like what you said, they're very gracious. I yeah. walk into a room, Mark Hamill, another guy who has had. What a career, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yet, he'll still take the time and hang out and talk. And uh, that, that was like one of the craziest days. Colette Sunderman brings me in for Spider-Man. And I'm sitting there. And then in walks in Mark Hamill. She doesn't even tell anyone that he's that coming. He's coming. Yeah. But then behind him, Robert Patrick. So it's uh, <laughs> T-1000 and Luke Skywalker yeah. hanging out. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there going, what the hell? What did I do? What kind of lottery did I win to be in this room? Well, you're all artists, you're all creative, you all bring yeah. you the work is the is the centerpiece. Yeah. And so uh, you you know you all have that same to do your best work yeah. and the ego stay outside. The ego and stay so outside. That's, that's why it works. Because you're in this room where there are no cameras, and it's not about who's doing the voice; it's how good the performance mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And I think that's the one of the other keys is like, you know, to success. I think is like you just it's in this arena it's do or die it's like can you do it no okay next or uh, anytime i don't uh, i don't book the part i think this guy could do it and then i'll call him up and go try reading this guy uh for breadwinners um uh, they wanted me to try to do that jeff bridges type voice for the bread maker he's like the guy mm -hmm. that like orchestrates all the bread for the two characters and i was like fred tattashore this is fred tattashore <laughs> even without yeah. the jeff bridges impression it is him so I told the creators, I'm like, give him, give him a shot, you know, like he should, he should be this guy. And sure enough, he is that guy now. Wow. So it's yeah. like the people yeah. that, uh, and I think that's, that's the thing. It's like, there, there is no greed, you know, uh, there shouldn't be anyways. Yeah. Cause I feel like everyone that is in this should have a shot. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, that's why every time that there's like a big series coming up, you get a call. Yeah, when, <laughs> when Ken John and all it, and all of the and all of the uh, the guys that used to teach you while you were a little kid that are now your buddies get a call too. Um, that's fantastic, man. You went to Comic Con. Was this your first time going to Comic Con uh, no, as a panelist? Not my first time as a panelist. There have been other occasions, but this in particular for me, I don't know why. I thought this year was going to be the most fun, and it was the most fun. Uh, I was only on one panel. Um, and two like signings for posters. That's my favorite time because, you know, not everyone gets to ask the questions or, or gets up mm. close and personal with the people on panels, but they do when they wait in line for 
uh, the the autographs. Right. And yeah. they, they make right. such nice posters, these animation studios. as a little keepsake for the people that do stick around. And that's when I really get to like, oh my gosh, you know, meet like the kids and like and their parents that bring them around. It's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. I got a niece and a nephew, so I think about like them every time I see like a young fan out there. And, that's cool. You know, I really miss them a lot. But um, yeah, Comic Con is. I call it the company Christmas party. Yes, yes. It's the, the company, excuse to, yeah, that's exactly to get a little and yeah. then put the lampshade oh, on. Yeah. Right. Right. I well. just want you to know how much I love you. <laughs> I hate you, but I love you, man. <laughs> We're gonna shit about actually. I'm sure in your sober moments you made a lot of people very happy. I had right. about four cranberry sodas that weekend. Very that's good. That's all I had that weekend. Good boy, good boy. Drink your water. I just okay. acted drunk. <laughs> oh, my what do you think you'd be doing if you weren't? A voice actor. Oh man, Margaret Cho stunt double. Every no. time, <laughs> every time Margaret gets thrown through the window, it's me. Right? It's, like, it's like the Spaceball yeah. stunt doubles, you know? It's like yeah, we yeah. got them, and then they turn around, they have mustaches and cigars. Oh. No, oh, I don't I know. Think I got a little cramped. That was funny. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't know what I. Uh, probably still in animation. Mm. Probably still something in animation. Because if I wasn't doing voices, uh, thank yeah. God I can still draw. See, yeah. I think that the next time somebody <laughs> asks you that question, you should say lead singer for Journey. Yes. Oh my gosh. See? Because <laughs> Carlos Alves Rocky's like, you want to see this cool documentary? That we could have been today? you. What a great documentary, we get right? Some hair yeah. extensions. Yes, yes, yes. And and he was amazing. Amazing. I know. He's incredible. I mean, control. talk about literally like you are. I mean, there's no one else. Do they do they know what we're talking about? Do you guys know the what we're talking about? The new lead singer for Journey. <laughs> yeah, he's my uncle. He's a it's Filipino his uncle. Guy. His Filipino uncle. <laughs> Because um, everyone's your cousin or your uncle. Yeah, everybody's your, uh, cousin, your, your uncle. uncle. Yeah. That's yeah. why you like Uncle, uncle Grandpa, grandpa. <laughs> Uncle, uncle yeah. Cousin, Sister Mother. Yeah. If you're a Filipino <laughs> person, you'll understand that. And I, I'm, it's almost like any culture. If you grew up with somebody that even wasn't your relative, exactly. they become your cousin, they exactly. become your uncle or whatever. Yeah. So I automatically uh, have ties to the uh, journey elite singer because <laughs> of my Filipino <laughs> yeah. heritage. You got backstage passes. Yeah. Oh, my um, goodness gracious. What advice could you give to someone watching who wants to do what you're doing? Um, never give up. Mm. It's it sounds cliche, but I think that's the thing is like yeah. you can't give up because if you do, then that's it. Like there's no, there's no what it, it becomes. What if? Mm -hmm. What if I did this? What if I did that? Mm -hmm. Just do it. I think. What and, should they do to to, to get better? What is, how do, how should they work on their craft? Uh, I mean, there's tons of there. There was a call. Right, let's let's pretend I'm your Filipino cousin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Pretend. Pretend. It's happening. It's right happening now. right now. We're at a family reunion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I ask you, I really want to do this. Okay, but you're not going to help me. But what what what, what can I do? What are my steps? What are my steps? Uh, well. Know the know know your range. Uh, if if you're doing specifically voiceover, acting is always going to be the number one. Like you know, pr practice, read out loud. But like being able to to know where you can go uh, uh, is is key because there's nothing more evident of showing you what you can't do if someone's just trying trying really hard. I never really book a lot of video games. I'm yeah. probably the last person that you want as a fighter pilot uh, <laughs> to save the world. Because, come on, guys. Let's, let's be honest. I, uh, I would shoot you down? You're so cute. No, I know. I, I, that's why I play evil square ba <laughs> yeah. <fairy> babies. <laughs> Not husky, cool guy fighter pilots. Yeah. That's, that's you know, that's the Troy Baker universe. That's, that's yeah. who you want for that. But, uh... I did. I did book one of those fighter pilot things, and it was like a a phone book of dialogue. And I was like, mm. you know, Ready Fox One, Ready Fox Two, Ready Fox Three. And I was like, oh, oh when, when, when are we when are we gonna finish this thing? Yeah. You know, like, it's like, oh no, we got Ready Fox Seventeen. Oh, Ready Fox. <laughs> these are two sided pages. Oh shit. No, but. Um, <laughs> God bless the people that do those video games and make them awesome and make them effortless because that's that's the thing. It's like, I know what I can and can't yeah. do. I know where I'm going to have the most fun. And I think that's that's what it is. A lot of filmmakers out there, they go, I'm going to be a director. I want to do this. I want to be a director, like, right off the bat. Yeah. It's like, cut your teeth. I think you have to, like, uh, for anyone starting in voiceover, 
volunteer yourself to students that are making films first time out as well. You learn with those people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, as much as it is us in a booth, there's like the next step, which is like the animation and all that stuff, and and being aware of like where your voice is gonna, how your voice is gonna affect the next step down. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so practice and and try to volunteer yourself for like a lot of things. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Practice. Yeah. Uh, you could read as much as you can. But unless you're actually physically doing it, yeah. like getting a microphone and just reading into that and listening back, yeah. even on your iPhone you can do that. Exactly, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know? And Billy West did a whole thing oh, yes. with how he practices on his iPhone when really? on, on YouTube. On yeah, YouTube. He found some yeah. lady on check YouTube yelling, episodes. and he's having a conversation with her. You gotta check he out the episode. Like, yeah, check out Billy West's episode <laughs> because he's having like, and he's going, and she's going, I can't, and he's going, uh-huh, well listen. Why now, are you yelling I, at me? I just I just want to, okay. Like, so it's it's like a, a conversation, it's an improv. <laughs> No yeah. way, yeah. So really? If you go on YouTube really? and you find videos, it's, it's yeah, a yeah, genius yeah. idea. Because you can click on this link right here. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll put it. <laughs> there, is there a link now. there? Yeah. <laughs> Billy Wood's link. Yeah. Um, yeah, seriously. I, again, another one of those guys where it's like he can do five different voices having conversations with, with one another yeah. Yeah. without even like pausing for a breath. Yeah, I it's, know. He's, he's, he's a freak too. It's crazy. We're both yeah. freaks. <laughs> well, um, it's competitive, so you need to be at that highest bar because, yeah. you know. But what I like most about, even within the people that uh, you said, what, what are your strengths or what, yeah. what's going to push you forward, mm -hmm. having those multiple voices, there's so many people that can do that. It's so much fun to like sit back and watch in a session where you know that yeah. there are people that are gonna do like five different characters yep. and to see what they come up with. Yep. We're always like impressed with one another. There is no like, oh, he's, he's, uh, he's coming in, he's gonna do this voice. Yep. It's always different every time. And mm -hmm. I think that's the best part. Uh, D. Bradley Baker again, another another example of like, huh, like there's a mute. <laughs> there's another freak. Yeah, another, another freak. freak. <laughs> yeah. um, he's of the variety of Gifted. animal noises and Gifted. creature yes. crazy. Aside from characters, his his ability to do those sets him aside from everybody else. Mm -hmm. Completely, yeah. yeah. And man, yeah. he gets. He loves doing that stuff. Like he, he like physically loves mm -hmm. the feeling of were doing. Were you there all. for Seven uh, uh, D? You were there, right? Seven yeah. D. Was I there? Yeah, I no, you weren't at the Seven D premiere. Seven? No, uh, the, the Rob Paulson part. Oh yes, yes. yes. Did you yeah. see him on stage? Yes. <laughs> He was crazy. He, he was, was like, so in command. He, like, he was. He knew, he knew well, how crazy he, he was going to get. Yeah. When he was on the show, sitting where you are, and yes. he was doing his cricket, and and <laughs> and then favorite. the monster, and you know, doing the, <laughs> you know. Um, that was pretty good. Thank actually. you. Stacy can do monster thank you. sounds. <laughs> if Dee's not available, watch out, Dee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. coming to get you. <laughs> you can watch that in our archives as well. But I mean, he just physically inhabits. Yeah. He becomes that monster, that insect. Yeah. It's, yeah, gifted. It's absolutely. Y'all are gifted. Um, <laughs> okay. Here's okay. a serious question for oh, you. Oh, serious. Okay. Yes. Adam. All of the voiceover actors Do it, Oprah. that you've no, worked with. You're not gonna answer this question. Who's your favorite? No, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You guys. Oh yeah. Chuck that's likes very to good. try to do TMZ, but it just doesn't work. Sure. No. Just, uh, yeah. I will ask you a real question though. <laughs> she will. What are you most proud of so far in your life? Oh man. Being here right now. Oh, I gotta tell you, you, it's it's one of those things where I don't usually get asked to do like a lot of interviews or on-camera stuff. I've done like tons of podcasts and uh, during uh, um, the Uncle Grandpa panel we were ushered back to the, the press area. But stuff like this where I feel like it's it's people that clearly care about voiceover. Like there is no other show like yours out there right now. Uh, it means a lot to me because you know, it, it's it's not every day you, you get asked to ask questions about what you do uh, because we're so behind the scenes. Yeah. So to be able to share stories with you guys and, and talk about stuff like this, it means a lot. It's yes. Well, that's very sweet, and it's just the beginning. I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg. Absolutely, you have, man. You have an insane career ahead of you, yeah. for sure. And, and well-deserved. Uh, by the same token, you know, I mean, obviously, thank you for, for your kind words. Yeah. That's very nice. We appreciate you and all of your talents and your sweetness and the people out there, man. I mean, we got people watching in over 80 countries around the world, mm -hmm. no Africa, way. everywhere, and there's people out there that can't have what we have access to here right. every yeah. day. Yeah. You know, get, and I this get. is their window yeah. to that world, to this world. Well, and also, they've had 
they've watched Rob Paulson and Dee oh, Baker yeah. and Billy West and Jess Harnell and Tara Strong and E.G. Daly and on and on. But you are a beautiful example of new face, new voice, that you, that there are new careers so starting weird, every weird day in, in the business. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's wonderful yeah. that you can show to people that it's not just the same people yeah. over and over again, which, and they're amazing, and I hope they have fantastic decades more of their career, Absolutely. but I love that you're a one, you're you're working within that, and then you're not a newcomer anymore, and then you're gonna be gracious to those people coming up as well. So at it's some a point, beautiful cycle. At some point, those guys were also newcomers too, you know yes. what I mean? Yep. And, and literally, they had the same kind of worries or like second guesses that uh, people like myself or people mm. after me will have, but the fact that they're very open and welcome to like, oh, okay, so this kid might might have something, you know, might have something. For that, I will always make sure that, you know, people will remember them as much as they're allowing me to, you know, have fun and, and, and be who I want to be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Eric, darling, what yes. is a number between 5 and 129? 129. Hmm. 123. Oh, uh, one, mm. two, three. That's a good number. One, Rhymes two, three. with he. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at the little picture. Very I cute. Know, it's cute. It kind of looks like you. No, I'm just I kidding. like pictures. Uh, uh. Okay, <laughs> Eric, this is this is some bad news for you. Uh -oh. Right. If you just learned that tomorrow morning you were to be permanently exiled from your country and could take just three things with you, mm. what would they be? I'd say my toothbrush, because you need fresh breath wherever you're going. Because, who knows if where I'm going, I'll have a toothbrush available to me. Okay, well, I'm not going to judge. Okay, toothbrush. It's a portal, this thing. Yeah. But wait, is it electric or manual? No, there's no electric. My, what if he's going well, to some place where there's no batteries? <laughs> Okay. Or electricity. Okay. My toothbrush has one bristle. It's, <laughs> it's a very. Because you have one tooth. It's a, it's a tooth floss. <laughs> yeah. It's just. It's a toothbrush. Are those dentures? Bru okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're off track. Anyway, okay. So toothbrush number toothbrush. one, two. Uh, okay. two, two. Can I bring my car? Because I have a cool car. Hey, it's your answer, man. <laughs> it's yeah. uh, it's a. It could be your. It could be your home too. It could. It might be if I don't have a house of where I'm going. <laughs> I'll live in my car. 2010 Dodge Challenger. No. Oh, but rum, rum. here's the thing. I bought it a week before Glenn, the Asian character on Walking Dead, <laughs> oh, had a Dodge Challenger. <laughs> So when I bought it, I, I was like, sweet. And then that episode aired, and people were like, oh, you just bought it because you want to be like the Asian guy in The Walking Dead. And I was like, <laughs> and, uh, and, and I like, like look and at I the like, on the receipt, yeah. man. And I happen to like white women, too, just like Glenn does. On nice, the Dead. nice. Okay. It's all too You are a trendsetter. Close. Okay, wow. so you're in your car with your tooth <laughs> brush. brush with your bristle, one yeah, bristle. Yeah, with one bristle. And then the third thing. <laughs> uh, uh, a third thing. Hmm. Hmm, that's a good, a third thing. Can I ask what you guys might bring? Oh, no! Oh, this I thought you were gonna say We're asking bring, you the you question. You could bring us. Yeah. I would bring you guys. <laughs> he would bring us. I would bring you guys. Yeah, because he's- His car, a toothbrush. Yeah. And Chuck and Stacy. Chuck and Stacy. Oh, we and have Chuck to be conjoined because we're wow. not technically two, no. Well, you guys, uh, but in a bring? sweater that had two head <laughs> <Yeah>. holes. <laughs> So you guys would look like a two-headed... No, I don't, oh. I don't want to taint your answer. You don't have yeah, to bring Actually, us. he would want to take you, but he knows that I come with you, so then I'd be like the third wheel. No, it's not going to happen. I'm a great now. cook, so we would not starve. <laughs> uh, we have no food. Well, what, what was the third thing that I'd bring? I would bring a uh, change of underwear. <laughs> Well, you do, because we do, we did learn that you do have an issue with sometimes. Clearly, if you rewind the tape back, you'll know that I uh, clearly need depends because uh, I can't control yeah. myself oh sometimes. Oh, my goodness Well, you know, they, your mother always told you to have clean underwear, so yeah. that's good. Good, That's Eric. good. I like that. You always got to have clean underwear. It makes you feel like a real man. Yeah. Wherever you're going, you will be well groomed. Yeah, or you'll six, smell good. Or six pairs that you could turn <laughs> inside out for the like the whole year. Or the days of the week underpants. Yes. See, I like that. Yeah. I like that, dude. Eric, I we just love I you. did everything, man. You, you, you are freaking insane. <laughs> you're crazy. Crazy talented. Yeah. Everything that, that, that people say about you, which is all good, it's all true. And thank you so much, man, for being so gracious, taking the time, driving all the way out here mm, from blocks. a block away. Let me, um, let me waste and that. And to share it to share with us, to share with our awesome camera dude who loves you now too. Yes. To Jory so over there, he's like so happy right all now. Over the world. All the people out there all over the world that love you, dude, you're freaking awesome. Thanks. 
Thank you so Get much. Down. Continued abundance and yes. success. Yes. Thank you. You're guys. always Thank welcome you. here. I'm, I'm coming back next week. Oh, oh yeah. good. We'll Sorry have you back anytime. We're going to put you right in the middle. Slide <laughs> get, over. Get down, baby. Yeah. Woohoo! We'll down. see you guys next time. This is Eric Bowser, and I'm drinking a full cup of buzz with Chuck and Stacy. This is all them. Right in here. Drinking it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't be jealous. Well, that's all we got. Not a more, no more, hasta la vista, el fin. What else we got? All that stuff. But we'll be back next week with another awesome episode. Yes, we will. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, VO Buzz Weekly, and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at VO Buzz Weekly. Thanks for watching, you guys. We love you, and we'll see you next time. But just remember, you, you always have time, time for a little, little buzz, buzz, baby.